This is the tumble effect and how you can use it in After Effects. Once we're inside the composition of After Effects, let's go up to the rectangle tool and hold shift and drag at the same time to create a perfect rectangle. And we want to mark the layer, the shape layer one, press enter and we change this name to rectangle. Press U two times to get up these options. Let's go ahead and change the position here and change it to zero for both of the numbers and we will be able to center the cube in the middle of the composition. Then we also want to resize it and we will choose a size for 400 in this animation. And because we are using a 3D animation, we will mark the box here for 3D layer. And if you can't see this one, you're unable to mark it. You can just right click here, press columns and then choose switches on. And we also want the parent and link to be on for further on. Next, let's mark the layer of the rectangle and press A to get up the anchor point. And we want to change the number here to the furthest right to 200, half of the size of the rectangle. And this layer will be in the very front. Let's duplicate this one and choose minus 200 for this one. Thus, we will create this one in the very back. And now for the other four, we need to change the X and Y rotation. So we start by changing this one to 90 degrees. We duplicate this again and choose this to minus 90. And for the next two, we want to change the Y rotation. And the first one, let's do 90. And for the final one, we will choose minus 90 and thus we have six different layers creating a box and as we're not using any fill the box is see-through now but you can choose a fill color if you like or you can take a gradient or whatever you like and to be able to actually control these six layers as a full rectangle let's right click here in the timeline press new and we will create a null object press enter and we can change the name to rectangle controller and make sure to choose the 3d mark on this as well mark all the layers and and choose the little pick whip to the right and drag it to the top layer the rectangle controller and thus now when you mark the layer of rectangle controller and press r you can now change the x rotation y rotation and c rotation a little bit and have a little look on your created cube. Next we want to create an adjustment layer and we can do this by holding Control alt and pressing Y. And the first one we will name tumble in. We create a second one and name this tumble out. Let's go to effects and presets and search for tumble. Then you can just drag and drop the tumble in to the second layer tumble in and to tumble out we can just double click and we will apply it to the layer then let's go forward a little bit in the timeline to just about where you can see the to just about where you can see a little bounce in the very bottom of the animation in the beginning here and we will tweak the settings a little bit for the x y and z rotation and this you can pretty much change to your own liking I will just drag them a little bit random to whatever I think can be something and we will create a keyframe for one in each of them. And let's move forward a little bit here as well to about one second in and change this ones as well. And the X we will continue go a bit to the minus and the Y and Z we will go a bit more plus. We can go forward to almost the end, a bit more than three seconds. And let's ramp this up a little bit more. We can do an X rotation with minus 89, about plus one, 171 for the Y, 139 for the Z, perhaps a little bit more for the Y, 25. And we tweaked X a little bit more as well. And this you can do pretty much as you as you like, and you will get a different animation depending on how much you choose to do this 
Then you can mark all these keyframes by either drag over them or, or press Ctrl Alt A, then press F9 to ease them. And we can go into the speed graph and drag over all these yellow points, the rectangles and circles. And I will just drag in this yellow circle so a little bit more to the center of the graph here. And thus the animation goes a little bit slower in the start and the end and speed up in the middle or in the middle of the keyframes. And just as a little final touch, let's go up to effects and presets again and search for glow. And you can just drag and drop it over tumble in or, or whichever one of the adjustment layer. And ramp up the numbers a little bit, the glow threshold, glow radius and intensity and you will get this a bit glowing look around it. And let's do something like this. But you can also choose this to whatever you feel like is nice. And that's it. There you have it. Your final animation. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn some more, please subscribe. And also make sure to check out the next one.